Hey guys, I've got what's called Melmachian gold. This right here is foam. If you ever watch ALF, <laughs> there's foam in them Nar Hills. Bunch of three inch foam that I got. I think it's three and a quarter actually. Three and a quarter inch foam, uh, R38 or something. And we're gonna be doing this metal building inside, finishing it off. 50 sheets of it for about $18 a piece. This is like $80 stuff. It is used and but it was cheap and we went and got this and towed it back with my wife's little caravan and look at this isn't this huge this is a hell of a load so over here is the official anime bambi trailer and we are really building it out including an additional layer additional layers of wood so we went over the surface of the two by twos and put an additional inch of fiberglass in it and then we're going to be using a uh, uh, a black asphalt board and then paneling so it's going to have about a r14 when we're done walls which is going to be great and then three quarter inch foam same thing in the ceilings the ceilings were pretty ratty all right this trailer was in a video many years ago and this is a little chewini that showed up at our house because we live out here in the middle of freaking nowhere and people dump dogs. So, eh, can't let Kira, can't let Kira let go of one. All right, so up here on the trailer, I'm going to show you something here. This is an old holiday ramblerette. Here sets what I am doing here. So, I'll get down here. These are Steon, 135 watt frameless panels you all probably seen these in my past they put out about 80 90 volts just almost just the barely daylight these are still making power so and then of course sitting here is a whole bunch of grape solar on the roof use treated lumber and the way that i connected them is just a little stainless steel you see how that went in pretty simple not too complicated and they are on a very slight tilt so the plan is of course to park it with that to the south and look at this even left the antenna for the stereo Whew, very close uh, don't want to get caught on that so that's what we got up here and it's a whole bank of them um, 1500 watts of those and about I guess I'm about like a little over 2,000 watts or something. All right, so just an old Rambler, and look what we got here. It is outrigged, and oh, here, because people are going to wonder how I did this. Um, there is hat metal that runs on two-foot centers, big heavy-gauge hat metal, where it all mounts to there. See that? And the roof has been poly-coated, so... It not only does the roof have a, a whole new skin on it, it was also poly coated and then everything is ran down underneath them. So this is the hat metal, very heavy gauge hat metal that was used. And you can see this is all I used. So going up to the top, one inch conduit. And it's just to keep, if you're traveling, any kind of flex. It does actually flex. You can actually walk on it without it bending. This is five quarter going all the way across. But just to keep the chance of it flexing, I affixed these on it. And this is what is uh, called a rat trap of a bug out. I guess you'd call it trailer. Now, its real goal was basically to just carry the solar that I have extra. But it's got the windows and at the little tiny shed windows and of course has an air conditioner in the back and right now we just got it kind of wired up going backwards but there's your steons so you can read that steon solar panels and they're very rare very almost impossible to get now uh they were put out of business but this is the holiday bambi edition so um and on the back here of course three quarter inch doing the same thing and I put four of them with a piece of channel across it. So it's just a basic update of what's going on around here. Uh, a lot of building still going on, you see. And I got a compressor being built into the body of it down here. One of those, uh, uh, like you having a 
uh, four wheel drive truck. You know, it's a compressor tank. It's up underneath there, uh, 12 volt powered. It's for other, many uses, including tools, but you can get those for a very good price. But what do you think about this mess of stuff? This is what's going in there. So it's R35 or R38 or something like that foam. It does have some little nicks in it, but we'll, anywhere there's that, we'll just inject it with some expanding foam. Big metal building. It's all going in that thing so that we can control the temperature in there. The more you save, the more you save, the better off you are. And the less problems you create yourself. So um, as far as fuel waste and everything else, the more you insulate, the better you are. And this is going to go in the walls and have metal studs in the front and then filled with fiberglass and then a wall. So you're literally looking at um, a grand total of about eight and a half inches of just solid stuff. 35 and R13, it's just going to be amazing. So, hey, Chewini. Isn't she a weird looking thing? She's eating her butt. So, hey, what's your real name, huh? Yeah, turd. I'm going to call you turd. All right. Um, we got piles and piles of metal studs. I brought all these from Idaho. We're going to get on some more battery videos here real quick. This is just a, I'm updating you what's going on. Um, feeling better. I'm healthy. I don't know if you might look at my previous videos, but uh, hospital taught me a lesson. Stay the hell out of them. You guys be good. This old rattle trap is going to come out nice.